Counting down to election day, six days to go, and with this election may come added stress and emotions for a lot of folks, and maybe you're even losing sleep over it. And if so, you are not alone. Doctors are calling it electsomnia. Yeah, a sleep specialist says the election can worsen symptoms for people who already struggle with insomnia, and they say it can trigger some new sleep issues for other folks as well. The person has difficulty falling asleep, and they may be kind of thinking about uh, the election or potentially what the future might look like, waking up in the middle of the night and struggling to fall back asleep or even just poor sleep quality. The best thing you can do to get better sleep this week is limit social media and any exposure to the election before bed. Good luck. <laughs> and uh, don't think about any election what ifs. Again, good luck. Uh, of course, they recommend you stick to your normal healthy sleep habits. They say get regular exercise, avoid naps late in the day, and limit alcohol and caffeine before bed. Hmm. Why, is there, why are you overall rolling our eyes here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that is, no, you want to try to put those practices in theory all the time, really. Sure. Well, you know, speaking of sleep disruptions, though. You're